welcome everybody to the webinar today. Um, we're going to be talking about Crumble and how to manage contacts inside of Trello. And we'll give you all sorts of details, whether you've never heard of Crumble before or you've been using it. Um, we hope this to be useful for everybody. So let's go ahead and get started. Uh, first of all, the ones of us on the call who you'll be hearing from are uh, me. My name is Brittany Joyner. I work in marketing for Crumble. So um, uh, I'm, you know, organizing things like this, always trying to connect with more users and figure out what we can do to be more useful and um, trying to find ways to to get our message out. Uh, you also hear from Tony. He is the founder of Crumble, and uh, he'll tell you a little bit more about why he started Crumble and um, show you how it all works and what's all to come. And then you also hear from Alberto, who is our uh graphic designer and he's more than that he does lots of cool things with uh helping uh, helping crumble be what it is today so um you'll get a demo from him and uh learn a little bit more about how crumble works and see the ins and outs just a few quick uh housekeeping things um we are recording this it will be sent out later today so no worries if you have to bounce early or, or anything. Um, and just feel free to post in the chat if you have any questions. Uh, we'll be monitoring that and um, as we go. So feel free to feel free to use that. And um, yeah, so let's get started with talking about what is Trello. So here's kind of how um, I, I describe Trello. I think of it as a digital whiteboard and the it's a digital whiteboard with different lists and sticky notes inside of those lists. And they're sticky notes on steroids. Like you can do all sorts of things with those sticky notes. So you can um, add due dates, you can add labels, checklists and members. It's a way to stay organized and manage projects. It's a way to, uh, for example, I manage my daily to-do list with that. I manage all of my clients and side projects that I work on. I manage my task list at work. Um, I'm able to manage my reading list. I manage all sorts of things within Trello. And so um, the nice thing about it is you can access it on your phone, your iPad, your browser, um, on your computer, wherever you want. And so it's a really handy tool to be able to have all of your information stored and be able to see in a zoomed out view where everything's at while also clicking into a specific card and being able to see details about like the due dates or, um, you know, being able to organize it by a category with labels and adding specific checklists to it for things you need to accomplish or assigning specific members. Um, and, you know, you can add even more to that with uh, power ups, which is what crumble is. And so um, just to give more, more context on, you know, what is what is Crumble and why do I care about Trello in relation to managing contacts? Um, a CRM, it stands for a, a customer relationship management. And what it is, is it's basically managing any sort of contacts and relationships with them. So for instance, the most common use case we think of is sales. So let's say, you know, you run a business and you have leads that come in and you need to follow up with those leads to convert them. And, um, the way you do that is through um, through managing those contacts in some way, shape, or form of being able to follow up on them, reach out to them, send them the right sort of materials, and and make sure they're being they're being touched. And like I said, sales is the most common area where we think of that, but. Um, there's lots of other areas where you're having to manage contacts in a business from hiring and recruiting for roles to um, networking to customer support and um, even managing partner relationships and uh, influencer marketing. So that's, you know, one way we use Crumble at Crumble is to manage different influencers who are speaking about Crumble and promoting Crumble. So um, pretty much think of anywhere in which you need to follow up with somebody and they go through some form of funnel. Um, that's contact management and that is where you use a CRM. And so Trello works great for that because Crumble, uh, the Crumble power up turns tr a Trello board into a tool for managing those contacts. So previously the way you would have to do contact management in Trello is to build out a bunch of pieces. You'd have to build out a layout of the boards you want. You'd have to build out your own custom fields to store things like the name, the phone number, the email. Um, and then you'd have to add on other sort of power ups to kind of build out any form of reporting with it. And it was a little bit clunky and it kind of worked, but it wasn't great. Um, 
and you'd have to build something with Zapier to get your leads into that Trello board. And it was doable, but a lot of work. But then Crumble came along and um, they solved all of this by giving you an out of the box way to do all of these things that I just described. So as soon as you, and, and we'll get more into how exactly it works, but um, when you use Crumble, um, you automatically have a list layout that fits, you know, a standard a deal stage and pipeline. Um, you have dashboard stats, so you don't have to, you know, do any clunky reporting. Like you literally just click dashboard and it will show you how quickly your leads are moving through the funnel and what percentage move from new leads to one or, uh, you know, cold to one. So um, it's, all out of the box right there. Same with the custom fields. No more having to create special fields. They're already there once you enable them. And you can automatically sync your leads. So instead of having to set up some third-party service where Zapier moves this there or whatever, um, you can connect with Google Forms and Facebook. And um, we'll talk more about the other connectors, but you can get your leads synced right into there. So um, I'm going to take a breath there because I know I talk really fast, but uh, feel free again to post any questions you have in the chat or, or any sort of things that, that kind of come to mind. If you're still, you know, thinking through, why do I need to manage contacts or how do I manage contacts? But um, that's sort of the, uh, the just behind that. And I'll go ahead and pass over to uh, pass over to Tony to talk a little bit more about uh, why they started crumble and um, how the more, more details there. Hi everyone, uh, I'm Tony, uh, founder of Crumble. I would like to explain to you a bit uh, what is uh, the Crumble meaning and, and, and Crumble philosophy uh, and why we, we create this because I think this is going to help you a lot to understand uh, our product and, and how to use it and why. Uh, I am, I'm an engineer and I was always enrolled in sales engineering part of the of the company and two three years ago I started to make consultancy uh, to different companies in order to uh, transform their business from a uh, analogical way to a digital way so uh, during the last years I realized that uh, small and medium businesses they really need a way to uh, manage their contact it's like uh, everybody knows uh, uh, getting a CRM. I realized when I was talking with them and we, when we were trying CRMs for my company and also their companies that uh, there is a lot of powerful CRMs, there is a lot of expensive, expensive CRMs over there, but uh, in a daily work, you don't need, let's say, like uh, that complicated stuff with a really high learning curve of the product and a learning code that you have to learn yourself and then explain to the team and they have to start working in a, in a new different way. So uh, at some point when we were installing Trello in, in all these clients, I realized that if uh, we are able to create a lightweight CRM with uh, almost no installation at all, without the necessity of having an implementation with an engineer inside your company and with a really uh, soft learning curve that would be a uh, success. So at some point uh, we started created ourselves uh, all the, the sales funnel like you have uh, now in Crumble and like you have now in the screen. So we realized that well uh, if we are taking an automatic sales funnel, if we are uh, creating a lead table and some uh, dashboards where the uh, users can manage all what is happening with their sales team and with the team members and also we are giving them the opportunity of creating auto automatically all these leads from third-party services uh, maybe you don't need a super CRM that includes everything we can make a crumble which is the meaning of of, of our naming a crumble with which we are taking a lot of different pieces and putting all together for making a crumble that finally it's a CRM. So after this long explanation, <laughs> really Brittany, uh, I think uh, maybe we can go uh, directly to talk a bit uh, what is crumble doing right now. Uh, now 
what we are doing mainly is, as I said, create this uh, automatically leads from third party services. We have created the Crumble custom fields in order to give you an easy access with no configuration at all, to have the contact data organized and to stay consistent with that data. Um, also, we have created the, what we call Crumble list, which are all the list that has uh, Crumble fields inside the car, which is a really important concept to, to get. And, and also we thought that was really, really, really important, the fact of adding uh, a kind of table like Crumble leads, where you can see and you can filter uh, all your leads like, a, let's say, Excel or, or a, a classic uh, table view. So with all of this, uh, I'm going to give access to uh, Alberto, which is the, the graphic designer, and he is going to uh, explain you how to uh, start a crumble board from scratch. We are going to go deeper in detail in how to correctly make the, uh, the crumble fields, how to fulfill it correctly. We are going to give also some pro tips regarding with Google where you can get track of your emails. And, and I think we are going to give with this uh, startup from scratch in the bar, uh, really, really powerful tips. So thank you so much and, and we'll talk later. Okay, so hopefully it does not break if I go to full screen. Yeah, there we go. Okay, so yeah, uh, first time you add Crumble to your board, uh, it will ask you to authorize. This is a user-based authorization. So it's, it means you just do it once in order to avoid uh, new authorizations when you, are, you plan to add Crumble to other boards you already have or new boards. So this is something you do once. And uh, once you authorize, Okay, we prepared a quick uh, recipe to bake your crumble. The next step, uh, we can add um, the sales pipeline we prepared by default to avoid the extra uh, uh, thinking about how to lay out our lists, which are basically the different uh, touch points of our sales pipeline. And we went with this uh, list you will see in a minute. Uh, we explain a little bit how, how crumble fields work in our cards. And once we finish this short guide, we can jump straight into our new board. There we go. Okay, let's close this to have a better view. So this is our uh, default layout. And uh, immediately we have access here to our Crumble menu. We jump right into dashboard and for the moment there is no uh, information to show uh, as we don't have any cards created yet. So what I would like to show you first is um, I'm going to create Antonio. This is going to be my first contact. Antonio Panea. Okay. So as long as we don't fill out, and this is a question that uh, we receive over and over, um, why is Crumble not showing any data, although I have one card in my new leads list? As you can see, dashboard is uh, showing nothing yet. So this is because uh, Crumble just takes into account cards that has at least one uh, data uh, field, uh, um, filled out of it, Antonio. So as soon as I fill out some crumble fields, as you can see, okay, the report is showing us we have one lead and this lead uh, comes from the default source crumble. Okay, if we open this contact, we will see, aha, uh -huh, this is a contact by default, crumble source will be filled out. 
We have several options by default. Some of them will be filled out automatically if we, for example, connect a Google form or a Facebook form. And uh, by the way, these sources are available for us to customize and create new ones. Um, this is accessible here by settings. We can go to settings and in sources, we can define our own uh, sources. So more or less the two static or the two dynamic fields, not static, the two uh, dynamic fields that uh, are uh, related with our dashboard reports information are these two ones because this way we can filter uh, our contacts by source and we can also see um, how our uh, sales pipeline um, is um, oh, I can't find the word now uh, is progressing sorry uh, if we 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 can uh, set a date creation date so our dashboard report will show us how many leads we created uh, during uh, on the timeline so to say okay so uh, this is one of the basic uh, concepts. Uh, this uh, crumble fields we need to fill out. Uh, another important concept is um, crumble will just register cards. We are moving uh, within crumble lists. So the difference between a normal Trello list and a crumble list is that we need to tell crumble that a list belongs to the system. In this regard, in systems, by this uh, automatic, uh, by the default uh, layout creation, we automatically link all these uh, lists to Crumble. But we, we could add, uh, for example, a new sales touch point, interested. We could move this to a different spot and we could then go into settings and just add this new touch point to the system by adding the list. Crumble will show us just the list that haven't been added yet to the system. Here we go. We can pick a color. Okay. And we can decide whether we want this list to be part of our, of our uh, funnel or our report or just once or both. So let's say we want this to be part of the funnel as well. And immediately it will show up here. Okay. Okay, so. Uh -huh. <laughs> Zooming in again here, there we go. Yeah, yeah I don't know. So hopefully, it's like every time I, I tap a few times, it's, it pops in. Okay, so um, something uh, we wanted to show you is, uh, first, the reason why we are using Crumble Fields and how this is connected or can be connected with your uh, Google account and how to take advantage of this to even um, get uh, an email integration as long as you use a, a Google account to, uh, to do your email uh, tasks. So um, now that we have some crumble fields uh, filled out, uh, I will add the email address of Tony. Okay, and telephone number, company. Crumble, a couple more details. Uh, okay, there we go. So we added this because we strongly believe in um, using each platform which already exists and it's uh, a very good solution on its own for every uh, single task like we did for example with Trello. When we found Trello, we thought well, there is no way we can uh, build uh, um, for our CRM purposes, a product project manager that, that works uh, so nice and is visually so appealing. So we also like a lot to use um, uh, Gmail for, for mailing. So uh, we uh, connected 
our Crumble cards with uh, Google. So all you have to do is sign in with your Google account. Okay, for this example, we are using our dummy user, Liam Jones, which is a, is a fake user. Okay, so Okay, we grant the permit so that we have uh, access to your information. We only add or modify information you create within Crumble. Okay, so once we got our Gmail account connected, we can go back to our contact card. And now, this is something we do only once. We have the possibility to create a Google contact from this uh, Crumble card. Okay. So if we open the contact, we will see that a contact has been added and tagged so that we have a reference to always know from which board this uh, Crumble card uh, contact was created. And we have also a link back to our card. So basically the reason behind this is to have on one side a representation in our board from our clients just to follow, to, 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 to have this conversation with the client to, to, uh, to close the deal. But if we need uh, more to add more information to our uh, to our contact, we thought that this was much better. Why not use directly uh, contacts in Google? By the way, this means that from every Crumble card we create a contract, a, a contact, uh, wherever we are using uh, this Google uh, account, we have all these contacts directly accessible, and we can. Uh, if we use the same uh, Google account in our, uh, the rest of our devices, mobile phone, tablets, etc. Um, it, it comes also in handy having this last interactions to have access uh, to um, our uh, last uh, emails sent uh, to this uh, contact. So that was something also uh, we really like about connecting with Google. So um, we have a nice power tip as we are here. Um, this is something we couldn't uh, implement in, in our API connection, but you, it's, 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 it's worth to, to do it by hand. Well, I'm having a little bit of a problem here. Uh -huh. Yeah. Yeah, it's loading, one second. I'm having a bit of a connection problem here. I don't know if you are hearing any sounds. Do you hear me, Brittany? Yes, we do. Okay, yeah, I'm, I'm having a some problems with my internet connection. Okay, let's see. Okay, hopefully it works now. Okay, so I'm going to create another car for this example. In this case, it will be myself. Okay, that's enough. So I will create a new Google contact from this information. Okay, there we go. And then what I will do is I will use the opportunity while I'm here. I will, I, I always like to copy, every, every time we create a new Trello card, we have uh, this email address that Trello creates. So, if I copy this email address, 
I can send emails to the cards. So, one second. Okay, here. If I add, if I edit my new contact and I add a new email address, I paste this Trello card address and I label it, say, Crumble. This means that every time I send an email to this uh, contact, I can also add as a a copy to so send a copy to that Trello card address to get immediately a copy. Hi there. Mm -hmm. Hi there. Fine. Okay, and then I can. Then I can select here. I have immediately accessible this second email address of the Trello card. So you will see in a second. I sent the email. And I jump back to the cards. Okay, so here a copy of the email I just sent shows up as a comment on my Trello account. So this is a nice way to, to have immediately every time I think, oh, this email would be nice to have it accessible in my cards to, for a better follow-up of this uh, contact. That's a ni nice way to do it. Okay, so we have now two contacts, and I will show you how Crumble keeps track of... Uh, um, the progressing of the of the pipeline. So I can move. Uh, let's say I I think this contact is is uh, is really interested in my in my product or service, and I put it on on the warm list. As you will see, Crumble keeps track and lets me know on the spots how my sales pipeline is progressing. So I have one two contacts and one is warm another one is on new leads and both comes from this uh, uh, source the crumble source I have uh, also KPIs to to check how my let's see here warm okay to have information nice insights about the progressing of the of the pipeline. I can also uh, filter by dates. Uh, this is important if, for example, that's another question many people uh, make. Uh, say, for example, I change the creation date of this card to the 1st of June, and I change the creation of this card, or I leave it like it is, today the 18th, uh, something to keep in mind, we just have these two contacts, we are just dealing with these two contacts, so if I go to the report, I'm limited by these two dates. So, if I want to filter by dates, okay, there we go, that's the limitation because this is the, the oldest uh, contact I created and I'm dealing with and this is the newest one. So, so that's the reason for this limitation. Some people asked about this as well. Okay, so um, I would say we can get, go straight to uh, demonstrating how we can connect because we just saw how to manually create our cards. Um, but we are also able to connect a Facebook form or a Google form. And I will show you how to easily connect uh, with our Google form. First thing Crumble will ask us to do is to select our Google account. Uh, as we already connected one, uh, we can select it here. And it will show us all the forms we created with this Google account. And then 
it is very important to keep in mind that if we want to integrate this uh, form, uh, we need to uh, create, when we, when we create a Google form, we need to um, uh, uh, link a spreadsheet to that Google form. Um, so I did this uh, and uh, I did this already. I will show you, we will link now uh, to the Google form so you can see what I, what I mean with the spreadsheet link to the Google form. And uh, Crumble will uh, let you know, uh, map the, the, our form fields with our Crumble fields. So let's say I link my name, uh, the surname fields to last name, phone, okay, company, email address. So that's something we do just once. And we don't have to use, uh, as I said, uh, we have a form, we are collecting contacts on that form. We can always have a look at the stats of this Google form, but we really need is to have this automatically to, to, to make it show up as a, as a card on our Trello board to, to, to keep in touch with the client and, and, and to, to make sure that we, that we win this client, that we, that we close the deal. So for description, I would link my comments fields. Okay, once we do that and we click on subscribe, uh, our Google form is linked to Crumble. And we might want to send this form to our potential customers per email or we want uh, to publish this on our web page and make a, a Google uh, ad campaign uh, to, so that potential clients can reach our form or fill it out. Um, okay, this is going to be Bruce Wayne. I think Wayne is the name of his company. Uh, he's the manager. And okay. Um, not. Okay. okay, so we sent uh, our client fills out the form, sends it, and if we jump back to our Trello board, here we go. Okay, here it is. And we mapped our field so every piece of data shows up consistently in its own placeholder. So this is, so the reason for the crumble fields, it's, it's a good way to get consistently data from third party services into our crumble system, into our cards, but not only that, this gives us the possibility to have a look at the data we are creating in this table view in our lead section, which mentioned Tony before. And this gives us a ton of possibilities because sometimes the search option we have uh, with Trello is not enough. And here we have the possibility to scroll through our contacts and uh, we can use all these column fields to search for an email, to filter, to sort, to select and uh, as a first and most important tool, we introduced our import leads uh, option. I will make a demonstration in a second. Uh, this gives us the opportunity to make bulk actions and import an important or a bigger number of contacts into, into Trello with ease. Um, okay, one second. Just looking for my, here it is. This is a test file. Uh, 
Okay, jump back to my Okay, so let's say we have, we can use a CSV, which is a comma separated values type format, very commonly used for table de data uh, separated by comma. So we can use this or, or an Excel file, could be both. I'm going to use this one. And uh, the same way we did this before with the Google form, we can, we can start mapping these are the the different uh, fields we have in our CSV file. So we start matching those with our crumble fields. There we go. Email address. Okay, and this works uh, about the same as uh, linking a for example, we don't have the job title in our source file, doesn't matter. And we don't have a description file, but we could use the opportunity and say, okay, I want uh, the, oh, let's say company, we have it, the form, the, we want this piece of data to show up in our description field of our Trello card. Okay. So this is like a wild card, so to say. We are planning in our future um, updates to have the possibility to send to our description field in our cards whatever piece of data uh, uh, we want because uh, sometimes, obviously, we don't have the same uh, type or kind of placeholders in our source uh, file and our crumble cards. We are also introducing in our next updates uh, the possibility to create more crumble fields and to customize those, but uh, I think we will talk about this uh, a little bit later when we introduce our upcoming uh, uh, functionalities. So this is uh, the next part. Um, we have the possibility to uh, not only import to just one list all our contacts, if we have a, a field on our database that represents the touch points of or the status of our uh, customers. Uh, we can use a special mapping here and say, for example, okay, in my source file, I use um, uh, status. That is the field that defines the status of my client. So I can map that to my lists and I can start uh, linking my hot status to my hot list. It, it, it doesn't matter how you call your uh, statuses from your source file. You can even later on change the name of your crumble list to, to, to make it more consistent with your um, origin data, uh, I'm, I'm going to quickly finalize the, the mapping of these source information, okay, called, and one is the last one, okay, there we go. And now we can, if we have in our source file, um, data about the source, where these leads are, came from, we can also map this with our source fields in, sorry. So we select the, this, this is actually the, from our source file, the, the column that defines the, the source of our contact. So we, we add this. And then as we did before, we start, we start matching the sources. And you will see in a second that this is a very nice way to, we can beforehand obviously prepare our source file, depending on what terms we are using, what sources, we could prepare our crumble uh, system and create those specific sources and uh, name uh, properly our lists before we do the imports. Obviously, I'm using here a file that matches all the terms I'm using in my 
example uh, Trello board. Um, web form, this is web. Okay, I think that's, that's enough. Okay, we click on continue. The system will tell us and, and will show us a preview of all the contacts we are about to, to import. We could select all the contacts, but we can filter and just select a few. Say we just want to import the ones that are hot, whatever. We have all the filters option available here. I'm going to import just a few, not all the contacts, to make it to make the import process a little bit faster. For approximately 100 contacts, it will take one minute or so to get the data import. Uh, sometimes our source file has some uh, data, some, some blank fields, some inconsistent uh, data. So sometimes we have to clean a little bit our source file, but it should, it should work flawlessly. Otherwise you can contact us because we are constantly improving our import. Uh, system. So there we go. We immediately uh, imported uh, 10 contacts. If we go uh, into our dashboard, oh, I zoomed in again. Okay. If I click on dashboard, you will immediately see more information. So this import uh, took perfectly the information about the status of each contact, the source. And uh, the only thing we should do by hand, if we have that information in our source file, is to define the creation date. So that's something we can, we can also do afterwards. And here are the contacts we just created. Uh, as we did before, we can go into this contact and we could immediately create the Google contacts. and start sending an email. Yeah, working on this, on this contact straight away. So I think this, this is a workflow we, we like to show people so that they get a much better view about why we are using crumble fields, what are they good for, how the lists represent our sales touch points, all they are related with our uh, report. So, and I think that that was all I wanted to show you about uh, the basics uh, crumble. And uh, I think I will pass the mouse back to Tony as he is going to show you what is coming next. Hey, Tony, I don't know if you uh, heard, but I I don't know. The meeting is supposed to end in like four minutes. I, so I don't know if it will actually end or if it'll let us keep going, but just giving you the heads up in case it cuts out, that's what happened. So let's, okay. let's uh, go through these here. <laughs> okay. Perfect. So uh, 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 am I sharing my screen? Uh, I'm sharing, but uh, if that's all right, I'm sharing. I've got the slide for um, the coming soon features. Do, do you want to share? Oh yeah. yeah. You wanted to share so you could do the, uh, yeah, uh, exactly. yeah. Yep, you're right, you're right. All right, and I stopped right. sharing. So, okay, perfect. So, yeah, because I, I, I think it's interesting to show to the user what is going on because, uh, as you know, the, the product is uh, less than three months old. So, we are uh, astonishing about the feedback we are getting. We pass the. We are close to pass the the ten thousand uh, youth users. I think it's going to happen this week or 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 the coming week. So and we are getting a lot of feedback of a lot of things we have to improve and we have to to add. And I want to show you that they are ongoing and they are going to happen soon. So could you see my board now? Okay, so this is what we call in water. It's like a test board. We are going to select uh, 15 people uh, for the next month where they are going to have access to these kind of boards and they will be able to interact with the new features before they go to live. So uh, the first one we are introducing, as you can see here in the list, is the icons. We, we put some emojis, which uh, they are making the 
the, um, the panel even, uh, even more cool. Here uh, with the Trello future, by putting these stars here, which is a Trello tip, uh, you get some confetti when, when you are winning a league. So now what we are going to be able to do is represent all these graphics in the dashboard. So uh, if you want to change the name and you want to add some emojis because it's uh, funny or it's uh, better understanding for you and the rest of your team, now we are going to read it. That is going to be so in, in all the parameters we have. As you see here in the new user interface, everything is more, let's say, compact because we are going to add more reports with they are going to be focused on so user information. So for example, imagine that you are adding uh, users from your board to different leads, like here, for example, Alberto, or here, uh, uh, Liam itself. So what it's going to happen is that we will have a detailed report of what is happening to Alberto, what is happening to me, or what is happening to Liam, more advanced and more extended than this one. Uh, in terms of leads, uh, crumble leads, as you can see here, we are introducing uh, sport leads. So uh, I think from next Monday, because we are going to make the deploy during this weekend, if everything goes fine, I think it will be. Uh, on Monday, it's going to be available for all of you guys. Uh, you will be able to select and filter by contact and then choose which contact or if you want all of them to export uh, directly to, uh, to a, a CSV, CSV or, 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 or an Excel file. Also here, as you can see, uh, you will be able to change the order of your lead table. Uh, we hear your feedback and we put the labels in that way. So now uh, the emojis will be represented in the lead table and also uh, the labels from the cars. We can see the avatars of the members which are involved in every lead. And also uh, we add parameters like the Trello link and uh, the company, for example, and I think job title is going to be added as well. All of them are going to be added. The fact is that from here, you will be able to, uh, outside the columns, to reset from the beginning, filter in, or even select which ones you want to show, okay? So that will be all in Grumbly. This is going to be uh, deployed on also in the, during the weekend. So Monday will be available for you guys. Uh, we changed the user interface in terms of uh, everything in the platform. Now, if you jump to Google from Monday, uh, this is going to be uh, the aspect, how it's going to look. It's going to be almost the same functionality, the maps and uh, how to uh, connect the, the account is going to be uh, absolutely the same, but uh, we have a more funny and more cool and fresh uh, looking. And also uh, on Monday is going to be deployed uh, Typeform. Uh, we receive a lot of feedback from users that they would like to add leads automatically from, from Typeform, so uh, we include it in, in this uh, deployed as well. Now there is nothing else to show here in Intuate, in uh, let's say our, our lab, but we are, uh, it's not integrated here, but uh, in less than one month, we are going to uh, add here in settings, a new um, section, which will be custom crumble fields. You will be able to modify the name of the crumble fields and also add a new crumble fields like you do with custom fields power up and they will be mapped as well when you are uh, bringing information automatically from a third part service. And also uh, will be uh, represented in the, in the dashboard. So you will get the information track for that as well. Um, we are going also to make an integration with Zapier, which is under development and will be deployed in less than one month uh, if everything goes fine as well. So if you guys are using Zapier, 
or you have friends or, or uh, people of your company using Zapier, you will be able also to bring a thousand of third-party services directly with Crumble feeds and creating cards. And also, we have uh, we are developing um, a feature which the users are asking a lot as well, related with the deal value. We are going to include a box here in Granville Fields. Normally, I think it's going to be here, which is going to include and, and let you put and add a value for the lead. And this value will be also represented here in the Granville graphic dashboard. So per list and in your funnel and per source, you will be able to see how many money you have over there, out there in, in the market. So in the next future, like in two, three months, long uh, midterm, I will say we are going to be able to uh, concentrate in one uh, crumble dashboard, like you see here, different boards. So if you have, for example, three boards with uh, crumble installing all of them and you are working with them, we will be able to have dashboards cross boards, let's say. I mean, in one dashboard, the information of the three crumble boards you have. And I think uh, there is uh, much more going on, but this is going to happen, let's say, uh, in more than a couple or, or, or three months. So we will let you know how we are, um, how we are running on that and, and sending you some surveys like we did last week to see which features do you want us to uh, deploy first. Awesome, sweet. Um, well, we've been tackling you know, some questions in the chat, but uh, any, any other questions or anything anyone wants to go over? Thanks for going through all that, Tony. This is super exciting. And I know as someone who loves using Trello, like all of this stuff just makes me really excited because there's so much we, we can do with this. and. Um, yeah, very cool stuff, but, um, yeah, feel free to post in the chat if there's any more questions anyone has, uh, also just wanted to, I posted this in the chat, but just want to let everybody know, uh, you can get a crumble sticker if you are based in, uh, North America. I'm sorry, we can't do sending out stickers worldwide just yet. We're working on it. But if you are in Canada or the United States, we can send you a sticker. And initially, it was just the United States. So for those of you who sh who signed up for the webinar and um, were in Canada and wanted stickers, feel free to uh, PM me your address in here if you go to the chat. And instead of where it says to everyone, if you search for Brittany, you can just send that straight to me. Or if you want to reply back to the registration email with your address, um, I can send you uh, send you a crumble sticker. So, um, yeah. Other than that, uh, Andrea asks any shortcuts with syncing to calendars. Example: scheduling work with clients. Anything we want to speak to there, Tony? Um, what, what do you mean exactly? Sorry, because I, I I'm trying to Is open it, the chat, but I, I I see nothing here. Oh, uh, it's uh, any shortcuts with, um, yeah, sometimes when you're screen sharing, it's hard to see the chat. Thank you to kind of, yeah, yeah, we are, yeah, uh, yeah, yeah, I got it. Uh, the fact is that uh, there is a couple of features that maybe we are going to put also as well inside the Crumble platform, which one of them will be a calendar, a calendar with iCal, where you can also update your Google Calendar if you are using that one, for example, just by sharing your link. Uh, this is one option we have on the table. We are start working on it, and I think uh, in more or less one month we are going to start developing that. So, so a calendar function will be will be there. Also, uh, I would like to know the feedback of of our users because we would like to implement as well a chat that works inside all your Crumble boards with all your Crumble uh, users. Uh, of your group or your sales team or uh, however you are using the uh, crumble to get let's say like a conversation like in slack but always inside trello always inside crumble and cross board where you can uh, talk with the rest of the teams and they don't have access to your data they don't have access to your board but you can get a conversation and not necessarily to use other channel out of trello like whatsapp or like uh, telegram or or Slack, so everything uh, could be 
could fit uh, there as well. Uh, hey, Tony, can you go to the slides real quick and show the coming soon features? If you have the slides up. Now you can see the slides, uh, Brittany? Uh, yes, yeah, if you can just go to that, uh, the last, the coming, I think it's the second to last, the coming soon slide. And also just so everyone knows, I'll be sending out, when I send out the recording, I'll send a link to these slides as well. So um, no worries about feeling like you need to write everything down or, or screenshot everything on here. Yeah, that one. Yeah, uh, here, yep. yeah, here I, I think I talk too much here about what is coming next. <laughs> <laughs> no, maybe, it's, it's exciting. Yeah, it's lots of good yeah, stuff. Maybe, maybe much more than I, than I saw, but uh, for, uh, here in Cranberg, we are working, uh, you know, Brittany, with a, uh, because you are part of the team. So we are working with a lot of, pa of passion. So uh, yes. when we start talking about the users and to the users about what is going to come next, uh, I'm excited. I cannot be, uh, I cannot keep nothing, let's say, uh, on my back. So, yeah, I think <laughs> we are going to make this slide bigger with more information before sending the users with all the, the things I said. Got it. Yeah, we can, yeah, we can, we can clean this up a bit before, before setting that out. And it'll take a couple hours, I think, for the recording to be ready. So, yeah, perfect. Um, Awesome. Cool. Well, we're going to go ahead and wrap it up, but uh, you know where to reach us in the form in um, the, in the slides or sorry, in the email that I sent out. Um, we also have a Facebook community you can join. I'll include a link to that in the email later as well. And that's a good place for us all to, you know, chat through different things and solutions and questions and ideas. So um, sending out links to all of that stuff, but thank you so much everyone for joining today. This has been awesome and we'll probably be doing some more of these um, down the road. Thank you so much, guys. It was Thanks, everyone. Uh, a real pleasure. Thank you so much. See you in the next time. See you, everyone.